let's discuss the product topology and continuous maps. Hello everyone. First, let's define the product topology. Let x1 with t1, x2 with t2, all the way up to xn with tn be topological spaces. Then the product topology t on the set x1 times all the way up to xn is a topology having the family o1 times all the way up to on for oi in ti where i ranges from 1 to n as a basis. The set x1 times all the way up to xn with topology t is said to be the product of the spaces x1 with t1 all the way up to xn with tn and is denoted by x1 times all the way up to xn with t or x1 with t1 times all the way up to xn with tn. Therefore, the product topology on x1 with t1 times x2 with t2 contains, but is generally not equal to, t1 times t2. Also, if we let x1 with t1, x2 with t2 be topological spaces with subspaces a1, t1, a2, t2 respectively, then the product topology on a1 times a2 is the same as the subspace topology on a1 times a2 as a subset of x1 times x2 with the product topology on x1 times x2. Now let's move on to defining continuous maps. Let x with tx and y with ty be topological spaces and f a function from x to y. Then f from x with tx to y with ty is said to be continuous if and only if for every u in ty, the inverse image of u is in tx. From this, we can give a definition of continuous maps between real numbers. Hence, let f be a function mapping from the real numbers to itself. Then, f is continuous if and only if for every a a real number and for each open set u containing f of a, there exists an open set v containing a such that f of v is a subset of u. Also, we can define a continuous map using closed subsets. Let x with t and y with t1 be topological spaces. Then f from x with t to y with t1 is continuous if and only if for every closed subset S of Y, the inverse image of S is a closed subset of X. As ever, thank you for watching.